we need to hook this up to in a circuit. This is your Shockley diode and direction of current flow through it is this direction. Uh, in this case the circuit has a voltage, um, a variable voltage source, a 100 ohm resistor. Some parameters for this is voltage breakover is equal to 10 volts. You'll find that in the sh data sheet. And I holding is 4 milliamps. So, um, let's turn up. We've got time here and amplitude. Uh, let's say 10 volts would be right about here. So, over time as we crank up this uh, power supply to and once it gets to 10 volts the diode conducts um, up until this point from 0 here to uh, 9.999 volts there is no current through this circuit here. There is no um, voltage drop across the resistor. All the voltage drop would be across this um, Shockley diode or four layer diode. Um, once it starts to conduct however, you remember you turn the thing on, you can't turn it off, so the uh, voltage across this thing according to this chart that I have hastily drawn up and this is a chart of current versus the voltage drop from here to here and uh, across the uh, Shockley diode and you notice as current as current uh, increases here the voltage drop across the device increases also. So this would be from the data sheet. Um, there's probably some kind of calculations you can do on this. Uh, for a first approximation you say this is a direct short. And a second approximation says there is a diode drop across at a 0.7 volts. And a third approximation would take into account the values on this data sheet. Um, we're assuming 0.7 volts, but a third approximation on the data sheet would say that we have to go in here and find out how much current is going to be flowing and then um, figure out how much voltage drop it is from here to here uh, from the chart. So voltage increases, 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 increases till we get to the 10 volts. This Shockley diode uh, begins to conduct and when it begins to conduct we end up with the 0.7 volts across it and the resistor ends up with the uh, 9.3 volts so VR would be 9.3 volts and uh, V um, diode is equal to 0.7 volts and that's a second approximation uh, the amount of current through this would be uh, 9.3 volts divided by 100 ohms. Oh, which is 93 milliamps. So you'd have 93 milliamps through this circuit. You would have 0.7 volts across the Shockley diode and 9.3 volts across the um, resistor. Now, we have to look at the holding current. Um, how much resistance can I have right here to bring it down to 4 milliamps? Because at 4 milliamps, this device, this Shockley diode, is going to turn off. 
because it can't conduct anymore under that. So we have 9.3 volts divided by uh, 4 milliamps is equal to so it's equal to 2.325 k ohms. So um, if this increased to 2.325 k ohms, it would bring the amount of current through this down to 4 milliamps, and 4 milliamps or less, it's actually less, um, this device will quit conducting and the voltage across it will increase again. Just like that. Okay, so this went to 2.325 k ohms and four, let's see, less than or equal to four milliamps. And it quit conducting, so the voltage drop across it is now um, the full 10 volts.